Hey guys, we're going to talk about our bow grips because we talked about that in group and for those of you who missed it or anybody that needs it, the first thing we always talk about is how to hold the instrument. So we're going to work first on, this one will be about our bow grip. I have Pearl's bow right here. Okay, so I'm going to show you myself and then I'm going to show you with Pearl so you guys can practice it at home and you parents can work on it, okay? This is the most important part to begin with, okay? So I always hold the bow. Let's talk a little bit about the bow. This is the frog. This is the tip. This is the stick. This is the wrapping, the silver part. And then this part is considered the grip, okay? Um, now on Pearl's bow, I've put a little um, sticky sort of um, spongy sort of mat for her pinky. So I'll show you that. And if you don't have one, I'll, I'll get you one when I see you, um, okay? And sometimes people need a little cushiony, sticky mat underneath here, so we can always make those adjustments. So if you don't have it now, um, just do your best, and then when I see you, I can give you one. Okay, so the, what we do, a good bow grip, is to just take your fingers and lay them on top. Now, we want them to be about where the knuckles are. So I don't want my fingers to be this far over the bow or maybe like this where my, just my fingertips are on top of the bow. I want it to be almost to the knuckles, just laying the fingers on top. Now, where do they go? Usually this finger is around the silver or this um, wrapping part right here. And then each finger is just comfortably next to it, okay? Now, my hand doesn't quite fit her bow the same as my own, uh, but now what we don't want is to have our fingers close together like this. That would be like having your mittens on. So I always say put your gloves on and not your mittens. So just have a little bit of space between the fingers. You just lay them on top, okay? Now, then the next part is they should just be relaxed. So we don't want them to be stiff, or anything like this. We want them just to rest right on top. And rested fingers are kind of curved. See how they curve over? Okay. Then the next part is, and I'm holding the bow over here on this stick to hold it up so that this hand is just trying to find the spot. The next part is to take the pinky and put it, curve it, and put it on its tippy tip. So it looks a little funny. And it feels funny and he doesn't like staying on there at first. So you may have trouble. That's why I have that little sticky pad there for Pearl because um, we have a hard time keeping the pinky there in the beginning. It gets really comfortable later, but at first you will have to keep putting it back on there. And if he ends up like this, this is not a good way for our pinky to be, okay? We want it to be relaxed. So if you end up like this, I would say shake it out start all over and just lay them down loosely, relaxed, make sure you're in the right place and then curve the, the pinky and put it on top, okay? Then the next thing I do is I use this hand to turn the bow up and I'm just keeping my fingers in place over here. And over here, my thumb is going to go into this little spot right here. And it has to be, I'm gonna show you this way, curved. There's going to be a little bump. The knuckle of the thumb right there should be curved and it should also be on its tippy tip. Okay. And where is it going to go? I'll show you in just a minute, but this is what it would look like once you get all that together. Okay. Now for beginners, sometimes we put the thumb right here on the clip. Okay. Tippy tip on the clip. And then you have that nice bent Thumb. So I'm going to show it to you this way. So if you have a nice curved pinky and a nice curved thumb, they're both on their tippy tips, you should have sort of like a circle in the palm of your hand. So if your hand looks something like this, something's going wrong. Maybe we're squeezing too tight. It shouldn't be too tight. It should feel like your fingers are just giving it a little gentle hug. Okay. There's some flexibility in the fingers. All right. So I'm going to do this with Pearl. And so I can show you parents how to help yours do that. Ready, Pearl? Mm -hmm. Okay. There is um, snow plow noise outside because it's a snow day. And uh, so you might hear that. 
but we can't seem to help that. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, look at me. So turn this way, so, or I may turn. So I may get it out of the shot a little bit and put it more on Pearl's hands. So parents, here's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna do all the work, Pearl, okay? So pretend like you're a beginner. I know that you know how to hold it, but I want you to pretend like you're a beginner, okay? Okay, so parents, you're gonna hold the stick right in the middle, okay? And you're gonna do the helping, okay? So I have it over here in my right hand. So it's her left hand that's going to hold it, right? Mm -hmm. Wait, no, your right hand, I'm sorry. <laughs> the right hand, right hand. So I'm gonna just take this and I wanna make sure that her arm is in an L, okay? So I don't wanna try to do her bow grip holding her arm way up here like this. This is gonna give you a really weird wrist, wrist um, like it's gonna be bent the wrong way. So it should be like an L. So here's her L all the way out to the tip of her hand. And we're just going to lay those fingers on top, okay? Don't do anything, Pearl. I know you wanna do stuff, and they all do. <laughs> okay, now. The next thing, so I'm still holding it over here. Actually, I wanna bring the camera down a, just a little bit. Hold on, her hand is a little lower. Okay, so I've got it in the middle. I'm holding it myself. I'm just helping out. The hair of the bow is pointing down towards the floor, so it's flat. I'm gonna take this arm and I'm gonna help her out. I'm just gonna bring the bow to her fingers and just kind of line them up to get that first finger, that index finger somewhere on the grip and then just spread them out comfortably, okay? Nice and loose, she still has an L, right? Nice and loose, Pearl, oh, it's mm -hmm. so loose. Good job, honey. And then I'm gonna help, if you're a beginner, I'm gonna help put that pinky curved on the tip, okay? I'm still holding the weight of the bow. She's not doing anything, okay? Now I usually put my hand on top and sort of hold those fingers in place while I turn it straight up like a rocket. And then I'll help them bend their thumb and put tippy tip on the clip. So you beginners, just put it right on the clip on the outside. That's a little bit easier than the inside, okay? And then these two fingers give it a little bit of a hug, right Pearl? Just a tiny hug. Okay, now you're holding it like a rocket. And before I let go, I always ask, do you have it? Yep. Okay, because they may need some adjusting. Like I feel her pinky tightening up, so I might adjust it a little bit and make sure she's not squeezing super, super hard. You shouldn't have to hold really hard to hold it up. It's a balancing thing. Okay, ready? You got it? Mm -hmm. Just hold it like a rocket. That looks super good. <laughs> okay, all right, Pearl. Thank you, my dear, I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> Okay, she wants to go play in the snow. So I had to let her go. Okay, so parents, get the bow grip three times a day. So get that bow grip, you know, put the bow grip on there, go through all the steps, you lay the fingers on top, get the pinky, turn it up to a rocket, add the, the thumb on the tippy tip on the clip, which is that silver part right there, okay? And then once they're hold, when you check before you let go, once they're holding it, we can do a few bow exercises, okay? I'm gonna back up a little bit because now I wanna zoom out. Okay, so we can do some uh, back and forth. We can open and close our arm. So notice that my I still have an L in my arm and I'm just opening from the elbow and I'm bringing it back. So I'm going back and forth, back and forth, okay? We can go up like a rocket, land on the moon, and come back down, okay? So we can do a few of those and see if you can still keep the pinky and the thumb still curved and bent and all the fingers on there. Now, if you're doing any of this and you start to lose the bow grip, like the pinky starts to straighten, or the thumb will pro, a really common one is the thumb will do this. If this happens, or this happens, they collapse basically inwards, then just stop and shake it out and put it back on in the right way. And your fingers will get much better at this, but probably at first that's gonna happen a lot. But don't keep going like that. Take it off and reset it and then keep trying to hold it. Now, holding it up like a rocket is the most gentle way to go. I don't recommend holding it like this because it hurts, it's harder on the thumb and they'll lose their bow grip for sure, okay? <sighs> okay, I just 
just got a text. Sorry, I think you just heard the beep. All right, so you've got that. So you go. Oh. <laughs> There's another one. Sorry about that. I was waiting for a message about the snow. Anyway, okay, so you can do the up like a rocket and down like a rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train, around my face like a great big sun. Stop at your nose. Now check it, curved pinky, bent thumb. Do you still have it? Okay, all right. So, and then the other thing we can do after we get that bow grip, if that's getting easy, is we can bow on the shoulder. So then you can go to that twinkle video and bow along. So you hear my introduction and then you play pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza. Or if you're doing the theme song, it might be twinkle, twinkle, little, Star, how I wonder what you are. Okay, and we're all we're doing is opening and closing this elbow. Open, close, open, close. And this might be the first thing you do when you put it on your shoulder. So, you know, we go with things like a rocket. And then if that feels okay, you bring it over to your violin shoulder or viola shoulder and you rest it on the shoulder. So I'm not holding the weight of it in my hand, it's sitting on my shoulder, and that's where it's gonna stay. So the first thing you might practice before you do any twinkle songs would be open, close, open, close, open, close, okay? You can do that, and then you can try some twinkle theme song, and then just see, like, do I still have my bow grip? Do I still have my curvy pinky, curvy thumb? And if you still do, then you've done great. So if you can do two or three exercises each day, keep trying to get that bow grip about three times a day, shake it out and do it again. And that should take you no more than 10 minutes to do all that. That's about all you can do in the very beginning, okay? So the next video will be um, how to put the violin on the shoulder, your other hand, but this is where we start, okay? All right, happy practicing, bye.